With their vivid fusion of blue, green, yellow, and red, male-painted buntings seem to have flown straight out of a child's coloring book. Females and immatures are a distinctive bright green with a pale eye ring. These fairly common songbirds breed in the coastal southeast and in the south-central U.S., where they often come to feeders. They are often caught and sold illegally as cage birds, particularly in Mexico and the Caribbean, a practice that puts pressure on their breeding populations. Painted buntings eat seeds, particularly after the breeding season is over, starting in midsummer. They're more likely to visit a bird feeder in a yard with low, dense vegetation. The western population of painted buntings begins its fall migration before molting, molts in staging areas in northern Mexico, then continues to migrate further south. This migration molt pattern is common among waterfowl but very rare among songbirds. In contrast to the western population, the eastern population of painted buntings molts on its breeding grounds before migration. The French name of the painted bunting, nonpareil, means without equal, a reference to the bird's dazzling plumage. In 1841, John James Audubon reported that thousands of the colorful birds were caught every spring and shipped from New Orleans to Europe, where they fetched more than 100 times the price when sold as cage birds. They are still illegally trapped and sold in large numbers in Mexico, Central America, the Caribbean, and to a lesser extent in Florida, despite efforts by conservationists to curb illegal trade. The oldest recorded wild painted bunting was at least 12 years old, as reported from a Florida banding study. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. In the continuation of the video, the magnificent song of the painted bunting is waiting for you. See you soon.